What if you could ditch all of this for this? Would it work? So we spent the entire day using Windows 11 inside our Quest 3 and 3S to see, can it really replace your PC monitor? The big question is, is VR finally good enough to take over our desk setup? Or are we just not there yet? So let's find out. Now, before we dive into our full day experience, let me show you how quick and easy it is to get Windows 11 up and running on your Quest 3. Thanks to a partnership between Microsoft and Meta, connecting your Quest headset to your Windows 11 PC is now super simple. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a Quest 3 or 3S running Horizon OS version 72 or later. You're going to need Windows 11 running 22H2 or later. You're going to need a supported GPU for optimal performance, and you're going to need Wi-Fi 802.11ac for that good connectivity. We'll drop a link in the description down below with all the PC hardware requirements. And on your PC, head to the Microsoft Store and install the free Mixed Reality Link app. Next, on your Quest headset, go to Settings, tap Advanced, and simply toggle on Pair to PC with Mixed Reality Link. Now for the fun part. With your headset on, make sure your PC is powered on and unlocked, and you'll see a prompt right above the keyboard to pair your PC. Follow the prompts to complete the pairing, and that's it. From now on, reconnecting is just as easy. Look at your keyboard, press connect, and you're back in Windows 11. That simple. With well, setup out of the way, let's see if we can ditch these, put on our Quest headset, and see if we can replace our PC monitors. So first up, can the Quest 3 handle real work? Because if not, that's definitely a deal breaker. So I have my Quest headset on, I'm paired to the PC. At the moment, I just see one display. Now, if you want one display, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can even move it around. But when I'm working, I have a lot of windows open, so I need as many displays as I can get. So I'm gonna go down here to the cog wheel, and then you'll see add displays, and it says one out of three displays. So you can have up to three displays. I'm gonna use them all. So then I just pinch, and then that adds one screen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my third screen. Tap that. Okay, now I have three displays. So I have all my displays up and ready to go. I need to get some editing done today and work on some thumbnails. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Damien, stop doing scrolling. What are you working on today? But my screen time is down this week. Okay, right now I need to work on the title, text, and description for this video and do some research for new video ideas. So let's get started and see how things go. All right, I'm already over here multitasking like a boss. I have my three displays. I have DaVinci Resolve up editing one of our videos here on this display. And then I have ChatGPT over here ready to go. And then I have all my project folders over here. And what's cool is I can still move these windows around. I can resize them. One thing I did notice though is after moving them, it isn't easy getting them snapped back where they're all the same size again. Yeah, I noticed. And if you try to bring up another non-remote desktop window, like your Quest settings say, when you get back out of it, you're supposed to have three displays, but the, the setting window doesn't replace that when it comes back. So then you click on the cogwheel to add the display back, but it says you already have three out of three used. But I have no idea where the other screen went and how to get it back. All right, well, Damien is distracting me with all his shenanigans over there. So in order to focus, I'm going to switch over to immersed view. And I have this nice calming environment where I'm in the wilderness. I have all these mountains around me and this nice waterfall and stream. So time to get some more work done. I think the visuals are pretty good and they're good enough to get work done in. And paired with my Bobo S3 Pro Super Strap, I'm able to be productive and enjoy content all day long without issue. It's really been great. Now, another cool thing is even though I'm fully immersed into a virtual environment, I can still look down and see my physical keyboard. So the Quest cameras are able to detect that and show it. So when I'm typing, I can actually see what I'm typing and I don't have to deal with a virtual keyboard. Now, one thing I did notice though, is if I look up too long and then I look back down, it kind of goes away and then I have to give it a minute for the cameras to detect it and display it again. But other than that, it's a pretty good experience. Also, there's no lag when typing and moving the mouse around. So navigating and opening and closing apps, everything's been pretty great. And I don't like sitting all day, so I decided to see if I could bring my keyboard and mouse here into the studio where we have a sit-stand desk, and I'm actually able to do it. So all I did was just drag the windows from 
the office into here. I have them up, I have my keyboard, my mouse, I'm standing and this is great. So it's nice if you don't wanna be tethered to a desk, you can move around. So productivity is surprisingly great and honestly, I could see myself using this for work on the regular. Yeah, so me too, I agree. So like working on the titles, tag descriptions, doing research for like tags and hashtags and everything, everything's been great and I can, I can use it all day just like I'm using a regular monitor. But what about gaming? All right, so we're done working for the day. Time to have a little fun and play some games. So I just started Spider-Man Miles Morales. So that's what I'm going to be playing today. Damien, what about you? So I'll be playing a set of courses. So I went downstairs and got my spare wheel and pedal set. Cool. And I don't know about you, but I want to play on one big screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of two of these displays. Get rid of that one, that one. So now I just have the one and then I'm going to go ahead and at the top, I'm going to fully expand this. So now I have that giant screen and you can have it flat like this, or you can also down here at the bottom, make it curved. I'm going to do curve just to make it more immersive. And then you can also do pass through or fully immersed again, and you can change the brightness on here as well. So perfect, I have it all set up. And since I'm gonna be playing a subtle course, I'm trying to get as much screen real estate as possible. So I'll be trying it with three screens, see if I can get that going. All right, so let's get to gaming. So I can tell you right off the bat, playing on this massive display is really, really cool. The visuals look great here on the Quest 3 and the experience is pretty smooth. Just swinging through the city and fighting baddies, I'm not really noticing any lag, which is great. Now, it is currently limited to 1080p at 90 hertz, but honestly, the game still looks great and plays smooth. Damien, how are you doing over there with those three displays? So I just got done playing this other course, sir. I couldn't get the three screens going. I have to do some research on that. Maybe with a program like Display Fusion, I can get that going in the future. But it was a good experience racing using one large display. And the lag wasn't really bad at all. And I, I was really immersed into the racing. I could probably play around with the settings and to get things tweaked in even nicer. But overall, it was a smooth experience. And I got into some, some good battles at Laguna Seca and a BMW M235i, so that was really nice. And I can have a meta browser open over here with a walkthrough guide for whatever game I'm playing while still having a big screen over here to game on. So props to the Quest 3, it's handling streaming and remote gameplay better than I expected, and in my experience playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, it's definitely playable. Yeah, so for single player games where every millisecond doesn't matter, it's actually a lot of fun. But for fast competitive gameplay like a FPS, you'll want a high refresh rate monitor. So the traditional monitor still wins for competitive games. So gaming with Windows 11 on the Quest 3, I would say it's fun for casual sessions and definitely playable, but it's not quite ready to fully replace a dedicated gaming setup, especially if you want to game at a higher resolution and refresh rate. All right, gaming done. Now let's see how it holds up when it's time to just chill and watch some movies and videos. All right, so I like to lounge on the couch when I'm vegging out, so I grabbed my virtual displays, this keyboard and mouse combo, and came downstairs. Everything still seems to be working fine, so let's watch some content. Damien, where are you at? I'm in the bed. Wow, why am I not surprised? Yeah, so I tried watching some Netflix and Disney Plus from a browser on my PC, but that looks like a no-go. I hear it playing, but it's just a black picture, so I guess it's a DRM thing. Hmm, okay, yeah. So I'm experiencing the same thing. It's not a huge deal though, because we can still bring up the Meta Browser and get to the streaming apps that way. Or we can also watch content on the big screen app if you wanna watch stuff on Plex. What's also cool is you can still have these remote displays up while watching something on the Meta Browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch up on my tech news for the day on the PC. What about YouTube, Damien, since that's your favorite pastime? The YouTube watching experience is decent. I was able to watch some YouTube videos about investing while taking notes in Microsoft Word about the investing YouTube video, or I was able to watch some of my favorite tech YouTubers do some reviews. All right, so not much to say about content consumption with Windows 11 on the Quest 3, but what is cool is you can still have your PC remote displays up while you watch content via normal methods on the Quest 3. So that's still pretty cool. Yeah, I imagine some people will be wondering about the comfort if you're gonna be using your Quest headset for long sessions like this. So we should probably talk about that. Yeah, agreed. So as you can see, we aren't wearing the head strap that comes with the Quest 3 or 3S, and we definitely would not recommend it. I know I would not be able to last long with that thing on. So we recommend a good halo strap. Right, we've been using the Bobo VR S3 Pro Super Strap, and we love this head strap. 
It's super comfortable and that's what we've been wearing all day long and we haven't had an issue. Yes, and what's nice about Halo Design head straps is it evenly distributes the weight and you have no pressure on your face, which is great for these long sessions. And what's also nice about this head strap is it has a hot swappable battery that gives you another three to four hours of additional battery life. And if you have at least two, you can swap one out when the other one dies. So you are able to wear your Quest headset all day long without running out of battery. All right, so there you have it, Windows 11 on the Quest 3. And honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. Like I was, I did this a couple of days in a row where I was like at least eight hours in and I was able to do it comfortably. Everything looked great. I was able to be productive, get some work done, get some gaming done, watch a little content. I would say though, you definitely need a comfortable strap. So obviously we had the S3 Pro and that works great. And then the swapping out of the batteries so you can actually be in the Quest 3 all day long. So definitely recommend that. I would never be able to do it with that. With the fabric strap. With the fabric strap, absolutely not. But if you have all that, I think it was a great experience and I could definitely use it on the regular. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Uh, I thought it was great. It was better than I expected because mm -hmm. I was like uh, 1080p, 90, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hertz or whatever. I didn't think it'd be that great, but the text was legible. Um, watching YouTube videos was, I was like, oh, 1080p is not 4K, but yeah. I mean, it looked, it looked great. Uh, having that large screen, consuming content on it, playing games on it, you know, it, it's definitely good. And you, like you mentioned, you, you need to have like a good head strap. Yeah. So you know, the Bobo or like, the, you know, the Kiwi head straps, mm -hmm. those are good. So you're gonna wanna invest in that. Also, you're gonna need, uh, you know, hot swappable batteries. So you're not, yeah. you're not done after like, you know, three, two and a half, three hours, something right. like that. Just like swapping those batteries so you can keep going. Yeah, now really quick, back to gaming. The one thing is, so it is currently set at 1080p 90 hertz. Now, the games still look great. Like I was playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yours look good. Uh, yeah, Set of, Set of Corsa, yeah. Um, but they do say in the future that they're gonna open it up where you can adjust the resolution and aspect ratio and everything like that. So hopefully at some point it'll go up to 4K. But again, you are still streaming. Yeah, well, so that might get into lag. Like with the 1080, like I we didn't really experience any lag whatsoever. So yeah, so maybe we'll in the see. future with like maybe some compression, uh, you know, they may be able to up the resolution. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, for triple monitor gaming, uh, that's probably going to take a little bit more research. I've I've seen some people do it, but I'm yeah. not exactly sure how they're doing maybe it. So certain games, though, yeah, what, maybe have know. to like edit a file or something like that, or maybe use a program like Display Fusion. But it's definitely a good experience so just having that one giant screen and playing yeah. games on it like that and you have the three screens for productivity so i think vr is ready yeah you can definitely replace your monitors obviously there's some use cases like competitive games that you wouldn't want yeah. to do that but for just like you know some open world gaming some productivity mm -hmm. some youtube uh, I think it's uh, content yeah. consumption it's a great experience but that's going to do it for this one guys please do remember to like favorite and subscribe so we can keep bringing you content like this and we're going to see you in the next one bye, bye.